Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in the love of God in the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. With humble heart we say, I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Me, Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the childbearing of the Holy Virgin, graciously reveal the radiance of your glory to the world. Grant, we pray, that we may venerate with integrity of faith the mystery of so wondrous an incarnation and always celebrate it with due reverence through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the age of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Um, please be seated. A reading from the book of Judges. There was a certain man from Zorah of the clan of the Danites, whose name was Manoah. His wife was barren and had borne no children. 
an angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, Though you are barren and have had no children, yet you will conceive and bear a son. Now then, be careful to take no wine or strong drink and to eat nothing unclean. As for the son you will conceive and bear, no razor shall touch his head, for this boy is to be consecrated to God from the womb. It is he who will begin the deliverance of Israel from the power of the Philistines. The woman went and told her husband, A man of God came to me. He had the appearance of an angel of God, terrible indeed. I did not ask him where he came from, nor did he tell me his name. But he said to me, You will be with child and will bear a son. So take neither wine nor strong drink and eat nothing unclean. For the boy shall be consecrated to God from the womb until the day of his death. The woman bore a son and named him Samson. The boy grew up and the Lord blessed him. The Spirit of the Lord stirred him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth, from my mother's womb, you are my strength. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. I will treat of the mighty works of the Lord. O God, I will tell of your singular justice. O God, you have taught me from my youth, and till the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. Please stand. of Jesus stand, sign of God's love for all his people, come to save us without delay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the days of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah of the firstly division of Abijah. His wife was from the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Both were righteous in the eyes of God, observing all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blamelessly, but they had no child because Elizabeth was barren and both were advanced in years. Once, when he was serving as a priest in his divisions turned before God, 
according to the practice of the priestly service, he was chosen by lot to enter the sanctuary of the Lord to burn incense. Then, when the whole assembly of the people was praying outside at the hour of the incense offering, the angel of the Lord appeared to him standing at the right of the altar of incense. Sikariah was troubled by what he saw, and fear came upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Sikariah, because your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall name him John. You will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He will drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. He will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. They will go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn hearts of the father toward children and the disobedient to the understanding of the righteous to prepare a people fit for the Lord. Then Zechariah said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is advanced in years. And the angel said to him and replied, I am Gabriel, who stands before God. I was sent to speak to you and to announce to you this good news. But now you will be speechless and able to talk until the day these things take place, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled at their proper time. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah, they were amazed that he stayed so long in the sanctuary, but when he came out, he was unable to speak to them, and they realized that he had seen a vision in the sanctuary. He was gesturing to them, but remained mute. Then when his days of ministry were completed, he went home. After this time, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she went into seclusion for five months, saying, So has the Lord done for me at a time when he was sent fit to take away my disgrace before others. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. As we enter the final week of Advent season that we have, we are called to be fully prepared for the upcoming celebration of Christmas, for the receiving our Lord in our life. My dear brothers and sisters, ito po ay tinatawag nating paghahanda, paghahanda para sa Panginoon, paghahandang totoo, para sa ating Panginoon na kung saan, kung tayo ay maghahanda ng totoo, hindi lang sa mga material na bagay o panlabas na kaanyuan ngayong darating na kapaskuhan. If we are prepared fully our inner self to open our hearts to the Lord, truly enough, mother, brothers and sisters, ibibigay sa atin ang dakilang biyaya na nakalaan para sa atin. Sa paghahanda natin, doon natin makikita at matatamo ang biyaya ng Diyos na ipigkakalob sa atin. That is why God chose us a concrete way to understand our preparation. God shows us today a concrete way to understand of our preparation. As we heard in our gospel today, the divine intervention happened to Elizabeth and Zechariah because they were described in our gospel, they were righteous in the eyes of God, observing all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blamelessly, but they had no child because, as we all know, the condition of Elizabeth Elizabeth was barren, 
and both were in advance in years, sila ay matanda na. Wala na nga kayahan para manganak. My dear brothers and sisters, considering their status bilang mag-asawa, we could say a married couple having no children was embarrassment to society at that time. And some people even think that the couple is under some kind of curse para pong sila ay may sumpa dahil hindi sila nagkaanak. The couple themselves would feel ashamed that they have no descendants because of the family line would be terminated. Parang wala silang pag-asa na ipatuloy ang kanilang lahi dahil wala silang kakayahan para manganak. My dear brothers and sisters, in the positive attitude of the couple in our gospel today, Elizabeth and Zechariah remained together, enduring the embarrassment and the shame, and enduring it together. Sila ay hindi naghiwalay. Sila ay nagsama. Sila ay naki, nakisalamuha sa isa't isa na dalhin ang kailang kahihiyan na kailang kalagayan sa buhay. My dear brothers and sisters, this is very fortunate for them because God is with them. Ang Diyos ay natili sa kanila sa kabila ng kanilang kakulangan para maging tunay na mag-asawa. God bless them with a son would become famous in our salvation history. Nabiyayaan sila ng anak na siyang magbibigay sa atin ng hudyat sa pagdating ng ating Panginoon. Sa mabuting paghihintay, mga kapatid, sa mabuting paglilingkod sa Panginoon, may plano nga ang Diyos sa atin. Tunay ang plano ng Diyos na ibinibigay para sa atin. That is why, in the words of the angel to Sikaraya, Do not be afraid, Sikaraya. Because your prayer has been heard. Narinig ng Diyos ang panalangin ng mag-asawa. A beautiful announcement to Zechariah. Indeed, my dear brothers and sisters, God is always listening of our prayers. Through our prayers, through our constant prayer, God sees us, our faithfulness to Him. Through our constant prayer, my dear brothers and sisters, God sees us, our faithfulness to Him. Sa buhay panalangin, mga kapatid, nandoon ang buhay ng pananatili sa Diyos. Sa buhay panalangin, nandoon ang pananatili sa Kanya at nagbibigay sa atin ng lakas upang magpatuloy sa paglalakbay sa buhay na ito. And this, we are given the example of Isikariah and Elizabeth, even in their prostration, not having a child. Still, they were also prioritizing God. Ito ang magandang halimbawa sa kanila. Sa kabila ng kailang naramdaman na pagsubok o kahiyan sa buhay, hindi sila nag-give up to priority God and their lives. My dear brothers and sisters, their faithfulness to God never falter. Even in our gospel today, somehow, Sikariah, but still, the faithful, faithfulness is there. Ito ang hinihingi sa atin ng Panginoon, mga kapatid, ngayong dating nakapaskuhan. Hindi nagtatapos ang ating panalangin. Hindi nagtatapos ang ating debosyon sa araw ng kapaskuhan. We are called continuously to be faithful because by our constant prayer, we are manifesting that we are faithful to Him. At the same time, God always also manifested Him faithfulness to us because we are called through our prayer, through our intercession, through our supplication, God answering our prayer. My dear brothers and sisters, we are now about to end the Advent season. We are called to pray unceasingly 
Every one of us is called to be prayerful, to be discerning, to be holy. Hopefully, my dear brothers and sisters, our good preparation spiritually will be manifested in our own works. And always the fruits of this Advent season, truly, we have now deepened our prayer life to deepen our holiness and deepen our ability to discern what Jesus is asking of us this coming Christmas. God is faithful to us. Amen. Please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, God is never outdone in generosity. In due time, He will grant aspiration of His people. In confidence, we implore Him, God of fulfillment, bless us. God of fulfillment, bless us. That even in the midst of uncertainties, we may continue to trust in the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of fulfillment, bless us. bless us. That like Zechariah and Elizabeth, may parents welcome children with love and responsibility. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of fulfillment, fulfillment bless, bless us. us. That there may be many young people who will generously respond to the call to the priestly and consecrated life. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of fulfillment, fulfillment bless, bless us. That the Lord may heal the sick and bring comfort to the dying. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of fulfillment, fulfillment bless, bless us. us. That our departed ones may be welcomed into the joy of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of fulfillment, fulfillment bless, bless us. us. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Lord, fill us with your Spirit, that we may welcome our Savior with joy and gladness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we lay upon your altars, that what we bring despite our weakness may be sanctified by your power. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. To Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him, with love beyond all telling. Jen the Baptist sang of his coming, and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so, 
with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the, the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May call it therefore these gifts to pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which you poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we are worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be God unto one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints you have preached throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced to eternal life, and to praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our, our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed is called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Be the body and blood of Christ, keep us for its and alive. Let us pray. As we give thanks, Almighty God, for these gifts you have bestowed, graciously arose in us, we pray, the desire for those yet to come, that we may welcome the nativity of our Savior and honor it with minds made pure, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, refine the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.